Difficult to solve a system of linear equation? This video is just for you. The system of linear equation is a set of two or more linear equations. Here, I have two linear equations with two unknowns, x1 and x2, in each equation, and I will show you how to solve it using Gauss-Jordan elimination. Before we solve the system of linear equations, I'm going to briefly explain what we mean by solving the system of linear equations. The main issue of the system of linear equation is we have multiple unknowns in each equation. To solve the system of linear equations, we need to manipulate them in order to eliminate the unknowns from each equation, except only one in order to make it simple. For example, we need to eliminate x2 from the first equation and x1 from the second equation, so we can solve it for x1 and x2 easily. In this case, I use A and B for solutions. The Gauss-Jordan elimination is an algorithm to manipulate the equation by eliminating the coupled unknowns from each equation so we can solve it. To use the Gauss-Jordan elimination, the first step is to keep only important information of the system of linear equations. There are two important information that we need to keep. First, it is the coefficients. Coefficients means the number sitting in front of unknowns. If you do not have any, it means you have 1. Here we have 2, 1, 1, and 3. Secondly, we also need to keep the numbers on the right hand side. Here we have 7 and 11. To keep such information, we use augmented matrix. The augmented matrix is two dimensional array of elements having coefficients of the left hand side and numbers on the right hand side. We also use a vertical bar to represent equal signs. This augmented matrix is equivalent to a system of linear equations above. Next, we reduce the augmented matrix to a reduced row echelon form using Gauss Jordan elimination. The reduced row echelon form is a identity matrix on the left side and a certain numbers on the right side. Here, we use A and B as an example. The reduced row echelon form is equivalent to simple equation above. So your solution are x1 equals A and x2 equals B. Let's start with augmented matrix. Again, my ultimate goal is to reach the reduced row echelon form. My first step is to make the element in the first row and the first column 1 using elementary row operations. Next step is to make the element in the second row and the first column 0 using elementary row operations and we can make the element in the second row and second column 1. Lastly, we want to make the element in the first row and the second column 0. The sequence that we reuse rows is a counterclockwise direction from 1 to 4. The question comes how to reduce the augmented matrix. We use elementary row operations, and these are row-wise operations since each row represents linear equation. First, elementary row operation is row multiplying operation. Typically, we use it to reduce the diagonal elements to ones by dividing each row with diagonal elements. Making diagonal elements 1 is important since we will use this element as a pivot point to eliminate off diagonal elements by making them zeros. Second one is row adding operation. Typically, we use it to reduce the off diagonal elements to zeros by subtracting from each other. Making zeros of off diagonal elements means we decouple unknowns from each equation. I will show you the step-by-step Gauss-Jordan elimination to solve systems of linear equation. I label each row as R1 and R2 to represent first and second rows. My first step is to reduce the element in the first row and the first column 1. When you reduce the diagonal elements to 1s, you simply use a row multiplying operation. You can simply take the magnitude of diagonal element and divide the entire element in the first row. Since I have 2, I divide the entire first row by 2. As a result, my new element in the row 1 becomes 1, 1 half, and 7 half. I keep all the elements in the second row the same. Next step is to reduce the element in the second row and the first column to 0. To make the off diagonal element 0, you use 1 in the diagonal element in the same column as a pivot point. 
then make it zero by using row adding operation. Since I have one in the second row and the first column, I subtract the first row from second row by element by element. So my new row two becomes zero since I have one minus one, five over two since I have three minus one half, 15 over two since I have 11 minus seven over two. So you successfully made zero in the first column. Next step is to make my five over two one. Since I have five over two, I will use the row multiplying operation. Simply, I multiply two over five for each element in the second row, and the new elements will be zero, one, and three. So you successfully reduce five over two to one. Next step is to reduce my one half to zero. I will use one in the second row and the second column as a pivot point. Since I have one half, I will multiply one half on the second row and then subtract from first row. My first one comes from one minus zero and my zero comes from one half minus one half. And lastly, my two comes from seven half minus three half. Congratulations, you successfully reached the reduced row echelon form. Next, probably this is the most enjoyable part. You can simply read off the numbers on the right side of the vertical bar as solutions, which is x1 equals 2, x2 equals 3. To ensure you got the right solutions, you can plug x1 equals 2 and x2 equals 3 into systems of linear equations. If you have 7 from the first equation and 11 from second equation, your calculation were perfect. You can also check your final solutions by using built-in function called RREF in Octave or MATLAB. The RREF function returns the reduced row echelon form of the augmented matrix. The RREF function returns the reduced row echelon form of the augmented matrix. First, you need to create the augmented A and B, then use it as an input for RREF function. The result is the same as what you got from the previous slide, so you are good. In summary, I hope you understand it better how to solve the system of linear equations with two unknowns using Gauss-Jordan elimination, and I will show you how to solve it with three unknowns in next video. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.